The federal government says it has almost completed requirements expected to reverse the United States of America visa ban on certain category of Nigerian travelers. The Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mustafa Suleiman, while meeting with U.S. Embassy officials at the ministry's headquarters in Abuja, urged the U.S. government to re-evaluate its position on the visa ban. The U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, while confirming that a ban on several politicians is in, is in place, said that the United United States government is committed to a free, fair, and credible electoral process in the country. There are people who we believe um, merit that treatment, and should those people seek to travel or to apply for a visa, it would apply to them. The integrity of elect the election process is so important to the fundamental uh, trust of compact between a, a citizen and their government. It's fundamentally important, and that's why we take the step of internally identifying people that we believe can credibly be construed to have interfered in that process. U.S. visa uh, processes are in fact confidential, and so we do not publish a list. We do not make public who it is has been um, subjected to these, uh, would be subjected to these sanctions. An individual who attempted to travel or to apply for a visa uh, would be refused um, and uh, but it is not something that we uh, that we advertise who the, those lists of individuals are. Um, I think that uh, uh, anyone who is involved with um, electoral processes in Nigeria should reflect upon the fact that um, a notorious behavior in this regard may have that consequence um, for their ability to, to travel to the United States. I think um, from the assessment of uh, the recipient of our response, I think we have uh, accomplished almost 90% of, of the requirements that have been established in that in that regard, and uh, I'm sure if you follow, uh, you know, the, the, the information that has been passed in terms of the level of compliance, with, for instance, the sharing of information, uh, we, have, uh, we have done so much in that regard, and that's why I believe that the U.S. government is having the comfort to even re-evaluate. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been, you know, candidates for evaluation if we haven't really substantially complied with the, with the requirements that have been established you know, at the beginning of uh, the visa, I mean, immigrant visa ban. So I think uh, if we are to rate ourselves, I think uh, from what has been said and done so far, we should be about 90% uh, compliant. And like I said, that's why we are looking at a re-evaluation mm -hmm. and we are looking at actually a positive prospect. 